The Poplar Square Chase is next is a Grade 3, two and a quarter mile chase at the top we've got Appleston Nina for Derek Hinton. Buck House for John Morgan, Dan Rapunzel, Martin Leon, Landon Impact, Leon Van Rensburg, Flubber for David Robertson, Periquitum Sweezy for Graham Clitterbuck and Spring Elite Padme for Alex Cherry. So seven of them this time. And away they go. And this John Morgan front runner, Buck House. I say that, that one was Flubber in the race as well. And it's Buck House who is in the lead. That one likes to go from the front and likes to set a really stiff pace, but it's also tipped up a few times as well. So it's one of these horses which stands up, it probably wins. The ch chances are 50 50 that it won't stand up, but they're already over the first two. And he's jumped them both well into the third now. Again, jumped that one really well as well. And he's certainly got the rest of them thinking about it because the pace is electric. And Bookhouse is in the lead from Flubber back in second. In Landon Impact is third. Dame Rapunzel is fourth. Dame Rapunzel who won the Bookhouse chase last week. Then comes Spring Elite Padme. And Periquitum Sweetie the Great. And finally Agglestone Nina, the back marker for Derek Hollywood Hinton as they get to the fourth. And they're all safely over the fourth. With Buckhouse already at the fifth. And absolutely flying over these fences. Alston Nina a mistake at the back. And the leader is travelling exceptionally well. We've only got a mile and a half left already. And four to five lengths clear as they come past the stand. And then out for a complete circuit of the track. And Buckhouse has got a clear lead over Flubber in second. Then there's a big gap back to landing impact in third. And then Dame Rapunzel four, Periquitum Swilly five. And then Spring Elite Padme in a gap of another three back to Agleston Nina. And they are very well strung out. You'd think it's a four miler rather than a two and a quarter miler. Buckhouse is absolutely motoring in the lead. From Flubber second in the landing impact and Dame Rapunzel. And Periquitum Sweevy as they get over the sixth. A mistake there by Dame Rapunzel. Didn't jump that well at all. Just would have been taken off her feet a little bit. Necessarily want to go this quick as they get over the seventh. I don't think any of them do apart from the leader. And Buckhouse is going well in front. John Morgan's already had one winner today. Chase over two miles. This is two miles and a quarter. Uh, again, they're both possibly being aimed at the champion chase. And if this one goes off like this, are we setting it up for his other one? I don't know. It's be interesting because this book house is going well in the lead at the moment. Fascinating come Cheltenham time with all these front runners that we've got at the moment. Flubber's in second. Landon Impact is third. And Periquitum Sweevy is fourth. Dame Rapunzel struggling back in fifth and her pace has definitely been too hot for her but she took that one really nicely and it's now starting to make a bit of a forward move as Buckhouse now comes under a bit of pressure Flubber is close up in second as they get over the tenth and Buckhouse is responding to pressure again landing impact in the dark blue is starting to travel well they get over the third last time he went right through it that time Buckhouse and that's allowed landing impact to come and take it up and it's landing impact who's now gone on from Buckhouse back in second Periquitum Sweevy is moving into third then comes Flubber in fourth and then Dame Rapunzel fifth we can forget the other two they're miles away but it's landing impact who's suddenly gone for home then now landing impact is well clear with two to get over landing impact in the lead well clear of Buckhouse in second Flubber is third. This is the second last. Leader stood off it. Better jump by Buckhouse in second. Here comes Periquitum Swivy. Landed impact at the last. Jumped it slowly and Buckhouse jumped back into the lead. And it's Buckhouse who's powering on again into the final furlong. Buckhouse from the grey Periquitum Swivy in second. But they're finishing strung out like washing up towards the line. Buckhouse is just about going to hold on I think from Periquitum Swivy in second, close for third, just flubber then landed impact down Rapunzel, disappointing to know it didn't like the pace. And a big, big gap then back to Spring and Leap Padme and Agglestone Nina. And John Morgan again. And a few winners today. Buckhouse takes it with John Morgan. Periquitum Sweetie was second for Graham Clutter Flubber. For David Robertson was third, Landon Impact from Leon Van Rensburg was fourth, and Dame Rapunzel was fifth.